Hi everyone, so we're going to create four letter word negative space paintings. To start, first thing I would like you to do is write your name with pencil on the back of your sheet of paper. Then you're going to flip it over. I'm going to zoom out for this. What we want to do first is we want to get our paper divided into four sections. And to do this, we need to do a hot dog fold and a hamburger fold. So first fold, you're going to take the bottom of your paper line up this edge with the top of your paper. You want to get it as perfect as possible. So I like to just kind of shimmy it up and when they line up with both of my corners lined up, I like to slide my finger down to the crease and get that nice fold, pressing up against the table. Then you're going to open up your fold. It's going to look like a birthday card. That's our hamburger fold. Next, we want to do hot dog fold, which is the long fold. We're gonna take this edge and fold it over to line up with this edge. Line up those edges and those corners. I like to pinch it, push, and get that crease. This one looks more like a hot dog bun. Then you will end up with one, two, three, four different sections. In each section, we're gonna do one of our letters. So to do this, we're gonna use our tape. And the way you use tape is you have to find the edge. So I like to run my fingers along the edge and kind of pick at the tape until it comes up. I will also be around to help with tape if anyone needs it. The word I am going to do is going to be love because I think it kind of plays into everything in the art room. So I need to do an L, O, V, and E. Each letter gets each box and you're spelling the letter with the tape. So I'm going to rip off a piece to start and I know I'm doing the L. What you don't want is your tape to be going outside of the box. So if it's too big, just give it a little rip. You might use this extra piece later. So I'm going to set it to the side. I'm going to do the top part of my L here. And then I'm going to rip off another piece and I can kind of measure it while it's on the roll and rip it off. And there's my L. Notice how it does not go outside of this box and it also says an L. Next is O. So since O is a rounded shape, you may have to use lots of little pieces of tape to get this shape. So I'm going to rip off small little pieces and I'm gonna spell that O using a bunch of little pieces. And I'm spelling that O. And I've got some overlapping happening. That's what we want. Notice how my O does not go outside of that box that I created with my folds. Next is V, which is pretty easy. If you make a mistake too, this tape will peel right up off your paper and you can rip it right on there. And perfect, I have my L, O, V, and E right in each section of my folds. For the next part, I'm gonna create oil pastel lines and shapes and designs outside of the area of my tape. So you're not using the oil pastel on your tape. You can do any design you want with these oil pastels. Just fill up each section with a different color. So I'm gonna do red swirls in this one. If you go a little bit on the tape, that's okay. Remember, we're gonna pull up that tape after we're done painting, so it will be like it's not there. And I'm gonna to move to the next section and do a different design. You can also use white for this section because we are going to be painting over these and the white will show up. Next, after our pastel designs are done, we're going to start painting with our temper cakes. Remember, these paints need water to wake them up. If you touch them while they're dry, they won't work. So 
So using your paintbrush and your water cup, you're gonna wake up those paints using any color you want on any area that you want. So to wake them up, you just get them wet. And remember, we're having good hair days with our paint brushes, using them on their tippy toes, not smearing them down flat. You'll notice too how I am not really painting on the tape because the tape is gonna be peeled off and thrown away. So I'm painting right over that oil pastel and you'll see where the oil pastel shows through. This is called our resist. Picking a new color. Painting a new section. Pick a new color. Perfect, and my painting is all done. Once you are done, you're gonna pick it up like a pizza and bring it over to the drying rack. As a last and final step, after your painting is dry, you're gonna wanna very carefully peel up your tape. When you do this, I like to just pick a corner and work very slowly. If you pull too fast, the tape will rip the paper. You can see it'll create a little bit of texture but work very, very, very slowly. You'll see that once your tape comes off, the letter that you painted will show up in white. This is our positive and our negative space. Once letters, uh, one letter is done, move to the next letter, working very slowly. And you can see too, I pulled a little bit too fast on my O and the paper is coming up with the tape. If this happens, just continue to work very carefully and very slowly. You can take your tape too and crumple it up in the ball. It'll be your garbage. Perfect, and your piece is all done. Make sure your name's on the back. We're gonna add a border around it once this is all done.